Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by University Kia, Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, Huntsville Hospital, Redstone Federal Credit Union, Fellowship of Faith Church, and X Golf. Bulldog fans, welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. The Bulldogs said goodbye to several senior student athletes who've not only given their time and their effort towards the good name of Alabama A&M University coach, they had one thing in common that they did all did it your way. Yeah, you know, that's the thing these guys bought in and these seniors helped turn around the program, changing the culture, uh, doing things the way that we do it and they know what we expect and all these guys have bought in and done things that way and that's why we've been successful the last two years. And even though a student athlete plays a lot coach or sets records or even just gets to be a practice player, you really appreciate that effort. Yeah, I mean, that, they do, they doing their part. Everybody has a role. It's only one football. Uh, it can only be one Bentley, one Aquil class. But everybody has to do their part and everybody understands that we got to have scout team guys that get the defense ready, uh, scout team guys on defense to get the offense ready. And those guys come out of practice work just as hard as the starters do. And uh, they're a major part of, of why we're successful on both sides of the football. And of course, Coach, you have student athletes that want to send them off on a good way. The Bulldogs won yesterday 30-13. to 13. Coach, how'd that make you feel about that on senior day? I thought it was great. It was a great feeling. Uh, we didn't play our best game, but you got to take your hats off to Mississippi Valley, too. They're doing a great job of getting that program turned around. And one of those guys are very competitive now uh, to where they won so much in the past. So, uh, But, you know, to send these seniors out, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to stay focused and have a good week of practice this week so we can get this W and send these seniors out on a winning note, and that's what we was able to do. The senior student athletes received gifts, presents, and photographs <coughs> from the administration and faculty and staff, and we thank them so much for their service. We'll take a look at the game highlights when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 98.9. WJAB FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. I'm just a prisoner of love. I get misty just holding your hand. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Yeah. Alabama A&M University presents its 50th anniversary banquet Thursday, December 5th at 7 p.m. in the T.M. Elmore Gymnasium. Celebrating 50 years of making a difference, we'll present guest speaker, author, minister, and radio host Michael Eric Dyson. For ticket information, 256-372-5550.
<laughs> Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynor. I'm Ted Dixie, coach at Senior Day, but it's more importantly a football game against a conference opponent. We have been beaten by Mississippi Valley State before at home in the final game of the season. Yes, sir. Well, you know, like I say, it's uh, respect, don't fear none. As you can see, the seniors right there uh, with their families uh, for the last time uh, on, on the football field and on Senior Day. And, those guys was focused all week and had a good practices all week and uh, really understood, uh, you know, we say this is your last Tuesday practice, this is your last Wednesday practice, this is your mm -hmm. last Thursday practice, you know. And, uh, you know, some of those guys are never play football again and some of them may have another couple of chances, but there's the group picture right there of those guys and, uh, you know, I really enjoy those guys. They're a great group of guys and they really done a great job of helping get this program turned around. As we watch the opening kickoff, um, the sky kick and the short kicks are becoming quite popular now, Coach. Yeah, that's Kennedy right there, and uh, he's a senior, and he got a chance to return the ball in his uh, last senior day. And here's Jordan Bentley doing what he do. It's about a 20-yard gain right there. And, of course, Jordan Bentley set several school records on his way out the door. Please go to aamusports.com for more information. Yeah, that's tight end Kendrick Johnson, who also had a touchdown today. Uh, but they did a good job. They, they held us right here in, uh, on the first drive. <clears throat> uh, and then Spencer punted in the end zone. And they bring it out and we start on defense. Defense doing a good job right there. That's, I think, Cushions and, uh, on the tackle. Now we got the ball back out, second possession. There's a little option route. Coach, and you might have been to get eight yards. Line here, Coach. We see that in the NFL now. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not a Quill's best play around the Quill. But for, for some reason, the end always takes him and Lee Bentley, you know. Uh, and so they give it to us, we'll take it. And uh, that's a good job of a quill working the pocket and then finding Ken Kendrick Johnson at tight end. Great job by our in-stadium production team with the field-level views, coach, and some of the replays. And thank you so much for what you've done for us through the season. Oh, yeah, these guys done a great job all year. And here they go right here. They Ooh. put six in the on the line of scrimmage and try to bring pressure. And then, you know, the bad thing about that, you got to play one-on-one -on -one and Abrahams and uh, Moore and these guys, Johnson, can make you pay for that and we made them pay. Oh, this is a great view right here, Coach. It is. So you can see all the pressure they're bringing. And uh, Aquila actually got hit, but he made a great throw, man. I mean, he just dropped it right in there. And uh, Abraham does what Abraham does. And that is also be one of the leaders in football championship subdivision in the receiving and touchdown scoring category. Yeah, I think that might be number 11 on the year for me, which is uh, just outstanding, man. To have a receiver have 11 touchdowns in one season. In season uh, it's freshman season, Coach. Yeah, it's freshman season. A walk-on. Yeah, I mean, it's a tremendous year, man. Tremendous year. I'm really blessed to have him on our, be a part of our team. And it's 7-7 uh, seven, seven now, and they're kicking off again, and I think Gary Quartz get this one and reverse the field there and run around about 30 yards and got five. <laughs> Here's a little swing pass to Gary here, and uh, he makes the guy miss. And uh, gets about 25 yards, so we're moving it again. And then right here, we just got a quick, quick kick it. And uh, Xavier Allen's supposed to throw that ball back. So we got to get him in the meeting room again and talk to him a little bit more. <laughs> and then they back on offense and try a little quick screen, and we do a good job of stopping it. Third down here, and uh, they try to run it. I guess they try to trick us. And uh, they got the punt, so 7-7. Seven, seven and. We're about to get it back, I think. Uh, OJ going to have a pretty good return right here. Ooh, don't block. <clears throat> stay outside, OJ. Right there, stay outside, I think he scores. I don't know what he was looking at. But uh, still was a good return. Now we're going to run an option again. And Whoop. A quill glass looking like uh, Kermit the Turtle. Coach, can you be taught to run faster? Uh, yes, you can. Just a little bit. But uh, we really can't. Just a little bit. You know, talk to track coaches. Yeah, track, track coaches get you to run a little bit faster. Not much. It's all in your genes. And Akil's confidence looks better when he's rushing the football. But here's Jordan Bentley scoring a touchdown on the day. As we said, several, several <laughs> records held by this young man, including career touchdown record.
Yeah, I mean, you want to talk about Bentley, we could be talking all day, man. He just a work for us, and you know, we wanted to get him a couple touchdowns today and get him over 100 yards and just finish off his career the right way. I think he finished it over 1,400 yards and uh, uh, multiple multiple school records, and uh, you know, so he had a, a tremendous career. And I uh, was glad he could stay healthy this year. Oh, had a type C hand. Here's OJ with another big return. Uh, he had a couple of good returns in the game. And then we got a late hit right there, 47. Backed us up, but uh, back on defense. And Holloway, I think he broke the school record with tackles. He did. We had defensive record set as well. Amani Holloway <laughs> broke Johnny Baldwin's single season tackling record. I think he finished with 113. Yeah, OJ with another good return. So we had some good returns to give us a good field position all day. And uh, here's a little swing out to the tight end, Howard, and uh, another 20 yard game. So we're, we're moving again. And uh, here's Bentley inside zone, another 10 yards, 12 yards, first down. And uh, now we're faking the Bentley, throw it out to Zay Brown Moore. And uh, he splits those guys. Got to get a little bit better blocking there by Shepard. But we still got eight yards on the play, and that's all we were looking for. Now we're back to the option again. And, and uh, the guy takes a quill, so he just pitches out the bed. Nice favor. Right yeah, here's a little uh, corner route to the tight end, and how the two inside guys run slants and uh, throw the little corner route to Kendrick. And he did a great job of hop on that ball and just taking it away from the defender there. It's another good throw by Quill. Johnson with his fourth touchdown of the season, coach. I think your tight ends had a total of seven on the season. Yeah, they did. I think. Uh, Howard had three and Kendrick had four, so it's a great job of, uh, of playing the position of tight end by both of those guys and just being ready when the number is called. Here's a sack right here by Mason. Uh, he's a senior and that's a great way for him to go out with a sack uh, on senior day, his last football game. He's been battling a lot of injuries with his back. And here's OJ uh, with a great catch and another great throw by Quill Glass. Uh, and he's looking down the field here, he works the pocket and he's throwing to take a deep shot for uh, Zay Round Moore in the back of the end zone and he was able to keep his foot in. Uh, if we was able to do that last week, we'd be in the strike championship, but mm. we couldn't. But that's still a great catch and a great throw. And here's a little, we was one point off of, uh, you know, we, we missed the extra point earlier, so I decided to do a little fake there. And uh, Alan Rios, a senior, executes it well. Spencer yeah. Corey, the third leading rusher on the team, he scored a touchdown and two-point conversion on the season. Yeah. I don't like him looking at the guy right there, but... What was he doing, Coach? He, he showboating, man. He showboating. You know, they, they could have threw a flag, probably, but they didn't. And uh, It was just good to those guys to make some plays like that in special teams. So, uh, you know, it was, it was a good first half, uh, a real good second quarter. We didn't get off to the start we wanted uh, in the first quarter. And so now we got we got the second half coming up, and we we'll go try to make some adjustments in the uh, at half, and uh, keep these guys playing hard, and and come out play 30 more minutes, and and to be over with. And of course, coach, in those 30 minutes, you get the last chance to say goodbye to those seniors, and we will look at the second half highlights when we come back on the Alabama A and M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 98.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day.
smooth jazz and cool vocals. Give me all to me. Give me all to you. 90.9 FM WJAB. For the campus of Alabama A&M University. Yo. Alabama A&M University presents its 50th anniversary banquet Thursday, December 5th at 7 p.m. in the T.M. Elmore Gymnasium. Celebrating 50 years of making a difference, we'll present guest speaker, author, minister, and radio host Michael Eric Dyson. For ticket information, 256-372-5550. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Again, thank you for watching the Alabama A&M football review with head coach Connell Mayner. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. The Bulldogs coming to Senior Day, Coach. We said goodbye to your student athletes. We also said goodbye to the cheerleaders. Well, they were presented along with the student athlete football players before the game, and at halftime, the marching maroon and white presented their seniors, and they have a tradition now that after the halftime show, they split the band in half, and other half goes on the visitor side, and some stay on the, the home side. But this is a great venue and a great idea if I did. I did. I saw that. I thought that was great, you know, to get the band from both sides. And, uh, it's, it's, it's a great idea. And here we go to second half uh, kickoff, and. It was a great play right there by a guy that don't play a lot, uh, 32, uh, court. So uh, now we're on defense. <clears throat> Here they go. That's a good get off right there by Holloway. And uh, it's a good defen defense play right here by Josh. He's undersized, but he plays hard, man. He got a lot of heart. And this ball snapped over their head on fourth down. And so we're going to get the ball in good field position right here, probably about a 47-yard line. And uh, we're back on the field. And, well, I think we're going to get a couple first downs. Here's Bentley right here with a good run. And uh, we're off to a good start. And we come right back and, and uh, run the same play. And uh, Bentley just pops it outside, man. That just shows you his vision. And that uh, he got his eyes head up and he's going to run the daylight. We have him listed as a finalist for the Walter Payton Award for the best player in the football championship subdivision. He tells me he's number five and the top four go to the trophy presentation. Okay, yeah, well, you know, uh, he deserves it. He deserves it. Um, you know, it's always going to be, uh, it's like the playoffs. You know, top four going to go, number five going to, six going to feel they should be there. So mm -hmm. hopefully he can get in there as number four and get invited and uh, have an opportunity to win it. He's, he deserves it. He's a great young man. He had a great, great career here. Great tackle on the punt. Great, great tackle by Holloway. Another one of his tackles that uh, he broke the record this year in tackles. So. And it was close last year. Yeah, it was close last year. Here's a sack right here. Uh, another sack. You're starting to get a lot of student athletes in the game, coach, who don't get to play a lot, but that wasn't planned on purpose. <clears throat> of course, you know, the, the last game of the season and uh, senior day, we want to get those seniors in and, and get the backups in. So we want to come out and play well and get a lead where we was able to uh, do, get some subs in the game. Adrian Portlock with that sack just there. Yeah, and that's a little toss right here to Gary Coors, and he got 15 yards on this play. So we're moving the ball, and they're going to bang. Look at them. They out there and having a great time, and they split each other up. And we really want to thank the band for their support all year long, all the games they traveled, and all their hard work, and the cheerleaders, what they do all year for us. And, uh, you know, they practice more than we do. So really appreciate uh, all their efforts and, and their support. They've given the football program all year long, the band and the cheerleaders. Course Valley trying to make a game out of the coach, closing the gap here with a score, but a good view. And then this is one of the tragic moments, as we like to say in the game, for the opposing team. Yeah, Mike Mills, we blocked it, and Mike Mills came up with it and started down the right sideline, and then he stopped and cut it back. Now he's going to take it around the left, and Mike got some speed now. That's a wrap. As you can see, he outrun these angles. I run that kicker right there, and that's all she wrote. Mike Mills, who was a walk-on freshman, 
started four years for the Bulldogs. We're happy to see him achieve his goals and his dreams, and we wish him well, Godspeed in the future. Yep, Mike is a great guy, man. He, uh, he, he just, he never gave me one problem uh, in two years, not one. And uh, he's one of the few guys that went out as a captain every, every game this year. And uh, that's why he, he's just, he's ultimate leader on and off the football field. He's graduating in January and uh, he won't be back in the spring. So uh, we, we, uh, we're gonna miss Mike, we're gonna miss Mike. You have student athletes coach who majors are sports management. Some of them want to go into coaching. Do you make any opportunities available to them after they graduate? Yeah, well, we got to have it. You know, we got a couple of GAs, uh, you know, once those guys finish, and then the spots come back open, uh, then we can revisit it. And uh, we want to keep our guys, give our guys opportunities first. They want to uh, go into coaching and go to grad school and be GAs. So um, if, the, if it's opportunity presents itself, we'll, we'll gladly uh, give Mike or Portlock. I think Portlock want to do some coaching mm -hmm. and some GA. And so uh, we just got to see, see where we are with those positions. There are four other people who are very important to your program, Coach. Brianna C. Williams, Missy Dotson, Randall Rice, and Tristan Anderson who travel, who set up arrangements, who do film work, who do scouting reports. They just help you doing all kinds of things. Yeah, they do. And uh, we want to thank those guys, uh, everybody, you know, not only those four, but the training staff and all the support, the, the uh, strength and conditioning coaches, all my coaches, the players, uh, the AD, uh, the president, his, his cabinet, you know, the fans, the alumni. Uh, friends, we want to thank everybody for all your support all year long. Uh, we come to did it without you, and uh, these seniors come to did it without you, and they really appreciate uh, everything you've done, um, all the checks you wrote, uh, the McIntosh family, and everybody else that donated to the programs. Um, we just felt grateful to you, and we look forward to your continued success to me in this program. Okay. Go Bulldogs. <laughs> And on that note, we come back on the other side. We'll have a quick chat from Coach about the upcoming events for the football team, and then we'll get you sent off and close out the 2019 season right here on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 98.9 WJAB FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals and the home of mellow madness till midnight you bring me joy. 90.9 WJAB from the campus of Alabama A&M University Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere.
Alabama A&M University presents its 50th anniversary banquet Thursday, December 5th at 7 p.m. in the T.M. Elmore Gymnasium. Celebrating 50 years of making a difference, we'll present guest speaker, author, minister, and radio host Michael Eric Dyson. For ticket information, 256-372-5550. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs. Welcome back to the Alabama A&M football review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie, your host. Coach, is another end to the season, but there's one person who's always special, near and dear to our hearts, and we have to thank, and that's Miss Bertha Bowers. Yeah, we got to thank Miss B, man. She's um, my heart and soul, my secretary. Uh, she keep us straight and everything, and, um, you know, we, we love Miss B, man. We love Miss B. She's been here a long time. I've only been here two years, but it felt like I've known her for 10 years, and uh, she's like a, a mother. She's like a mother. She really is to me in this program, and uh, she, she bleeds maroon. She believes maroon and white. Definitely that, Coach. Now, the end of the season, you won seven games this season, Coach. Six last year, you're on the uprise, as we say. Yeah, we, we're heading in the right direction. You know, we, we got to six and five last year, the first winning season in six years, and then seven and five this year. So back-to-back -back winning seasons and, uh, you know, one play away from playing for the championship this way, this year. So we're, we're a player, a player away, and last year we was two plays, two players away, and next year we get those players and, and – uh, Everything go our way, we'd be in the championship game. So that's what we're working for. Those are our goals. And uh, as you can see, we're very close. And uh, we look forward to uh, getting to that point to where we're playing for championships every year, not just one year. Now, what's next up on your schedule, Coach? We know recruiting, but National Signing Day and then the spring, right? Yeah, yeah. We got uh, Thanksgiving. We got a break coming up. And then we come back for um, a, a couple of days. And then we offer Christmas break. And we get back in January. Uh, we finish recruiting and uh, finalizing who we're going to offer and uh, try to have a great class in here, try to get a couple of transfers in and, and uh, plug up some holes that we're missing uh, and then get to signing day in February. Uh, and of course, we got the convention this year that'll be right here in Nashville. So, Oh, great. Coaches uh, convention. Yeah, the coaches convention will be right here in, in, uh, in Tennessee. So um, we look forward to that and having a great recruiting year and just continuing to get better so we can put a better product out on the football field for you. And, of course, folks, we invite you to keep up with other news for Alabama A&M University sports by visiting aamusports.com, as well as going to 90.9 FM WJAB to hear all the best in jazz and blues here in North Alabama. So, for the production team here in the studio, for Coach Maynard, I'm Ted Dixie. Thank you all so much for supporting us during the year. God bless you. Service is sovereignty. So long, everybody. And we got to thank uh, uh, Trooper Curtis, some of you. To, he's retiring this year. He's been my trooper. He's got my back on the field. Make sure nobody don't bother me after the game. Thank you, Troop. Love you, man.